Welcome back to another week of art. Today we are drawing birds and bird houses. Make sure to read our story, Bird House for Rent, before you get started. And then I want you to think about what kind of bird do you want to draw with your birdhouse? These are all common birds around Ohio. Have you seen any of these in your neighborhood? This black and orange bird is called a robin. This blue bird is called a blue jay. We have the woodpecker, the crow, a chickadee. That's in our story we just read. We have a goldfinch, a cardinal, a little tiny wren, and the morning dove. These are all examples of birds you'll see around Ohio. Once you've kind of thought about what bird you want to draw, what kind of house would you like to make? It can be um, a very simple bird house, which we'll practice drawing today. Or if you want to make your house a little more fancy, a little more unique for your birds, you're welcome to make your house however you would like. Let's get started. To draw a bird house, we are going to start off with a square shape. Not too big, not too small, just big enough for the bird to live in. And then we'll give our birdhouse a roof. You could give it a half circle roof, a triangle roof, a rectangle roof, whatever kind of roof you would like. There we go. And then a little bit, we can add some decorations to the roof if you want. We're gonna draw a circle just big enough for the bird to get inside. If we make it too big, other animals can get inside the circle and uh, steal eggs out of the birdhouse. And then we're gonna draw a little line down here for the bird to land on. It's a stick called a perch. And then you can decide, do you want your birdhouse to be on a pole like this? Or would you rather have your birdhouse hanging from a tree or a branch? All right, I'm gonna leave mine just like that and I'm gonna color it in before I add the bird. All right, that's looking pretty cool, pretty fancy. Let me go ahead and add a bird sitting on the perch. Now birds are not easy to draw. I want you to try your best. I'm starting off with a tilted oval, a tilted oval. If I go too fast, you can always pause the video. I'm gonna draw the wing of the bird tucked in just like that. We can see one little bird eye and then its mouth stretched towards the window or the door. My bird is actually gonna be holding a worm, feeding the baby birds inside of the birdhouse that have just hatched. They've got their mouth open wide, ready to eat the worm. Now do you see how the bird still looks like a potato? Even when we add legs, it still looks a little bit potato-y. You need to add tail feathers. So we're gonna stretch some feathers coming from the back of the bird. And now it looks like an actual bird. You can draw your bird flying, the wings stretched out high. There we go. You can even try drawing other kinds of birds. Sometimes I make it more like this shape, a half circle. And it makes it look more like a blue jay or a cardinal would look. Just some different things you can try. If you look at the Google Doc, I included lots of different ways of how to draw birds. And however you draw your bird is okay. They're gonna all look differently because there's different kinds of birds. Looks like this cardinal is getting ready to visit these robins. Now, one more thing. That, the picture's looking really good, but we need a background. A background is anything behind the birdhouse. So what can we add to set up the scene? Birdhouses are outside, so we could draw some clouds to show that the birds are flying through the air. We could draw some trees, we could draw the sun, whatever kind of details you wanna add. We could start to make some flowers. Remember when we drew flowers last week? That'll make the picture look nice and springy. Go ahead and add some details when you're ready. And there we go, I've added some color. I hope you have a 
fun time drawing birds today. Think about what kind of birds you would see around your neighborhood. What would they be doing? Would they be catching worms or insects or eating some bird seed? I hope you enjoy drawing and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.